Hi everyone, it's Lauren Gates here again with a new open source pro tips. Today's lesson will be a quick walkthrough in how to set up a TLS certificate using Let's Encrypt, how to configure the firewall to allow that to happen, and how to configure HTTPS browser. Okay, what you're looking at here is the GUI for a brand new free PBX install. No configuration has been done apart from the firewall has been set up using the initial wizard that you see when you do a fresh install. I've updated all PBX modules and all OS uh, RPMs. I've rebooted the system and I've set up a fully qualified domain name that resolves to the public IP of this PBX. Let's browse to admin, system admin, to set up the ports, which is the first step in getting a Let's Encrypt certificate. On port management, we can see that port 80 is currently being used for the admin GUI. We're going to change that from port 80 to port 8080, which is arbitrary. I can choose whatever I wish. And I am going to dedicate port 80 to Let's Encrypt renewal. I'm not touching any other ports. When I click update now, we will see the IP address with the new admin port up here in the location bar. And I will now browse to the firewall module and I will check the Let's Encrypt service and ensure that Let's Encrypt is access from all zones. In the past, Let's Encrypt would validate from only a select number of hosts. But in more recent times, they have started validating the PBX using a range of hosts, which they will not identify in advance. It is no longer sufficient to whitelist a series of IPs in order to allow Let's Encrypt validation. You must allow validation from the entire internet zone. With that in place, we can browse to admin, certificate management. We see the existing default self-signed certificate that exists on all fresh installs. And we have the option of generating a new Let's Encrypt certificate. The host name is the FQDN I've set up in advance, which is lgates.jumpingcrab.com. my email address and I live in Canada, Nova Scotia. I'm ignoring this note at the top which says that I must allow access from those specific hosts as I already explained. Validation can come from anywhere on the internet. I click generating and I wait. If I've done all the steps properly I get a new self-signed certificate, hellgates.jumpingcrab.com, hellgates.jumpingcrab.com from Let's Encrypt. Before I browse away from the screen, I will set this new TLS certificate to be the default for the entire system. And that is confirmed when I have the green check mark next to this entry. Browsing to a system admin, there is the step with the HTTPS setup. I can now browse to settings, select the new TLS certificate from Let's Encrypt, click it all. And down here, I can see that Apache has been configured with my new certificate. Also in system admin, back to port management. All these ports are now unlocked, which had been previously grayed out. I can go through these and select whatever services I want with whatever ports I want for the secure HTTPS setup. I click update now. 
nothing will be seen to happen initially. The last step in the process is now to browse to https colon slash slash lgates dot jumpingcrab dot com hit enter I will get a login screen nope it knows I'm already credentialed I'm now using a TLS certificate connection secure I can examine the certificate details For more information, all is good. And that's it. In about five minutes, we went from HTTP browsing using port 80 to HTTPS using port 443. We did a little configuration using system admin, a little tweaking of the free PBX firewall, generate a TLS cert using certificate management, and then apply that cert using system admin and Apache. Lots more information at the wiki.freepbx.org where you can read about certificate management in the certificate management user guide, including steps for generating Let's Encrypt certificate. The most important part of the process is properly configuring the firewall to allow access from world and not just the four hosts that were previously only required. That's all for today. Goodbye everyone.